Journey Map, one of the best Minecraft mini map mods and map mods in general, is now out for Minecraft 1.19. And in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to download and install it for your game. We're going to go over every single step. We're even going to, once we get in game, walk you through Journey Map a little bit because it is honestly a really, really cool map mod. And you can see it here. I mean, it does so much, but it does more than just add in that little mini map. It also allows you to actually pull up a full screen map of Minecraft and see everything that's going on or everywhere that you've been in your world from a top down view. It is so, so cool. But before we jump on into it, we do have a our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love it just them so much. So we also our own server, play our breakdowncraft.com on them. So check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your very own server up and running. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get journey map up and running in Minecraft. First things first, we need to download the journey map mod. You can find it linked as the second link down below. And when you click that, it will take you here. This is a text tutorial for how to get journey map where we kind of walk you through things at your own pace. But once you're here, go ahead and click on the download journey map mod. This takes you to the official journey map download page. And you can come over here to the right hand side and scroll down to the 1.19 section. Then you want to download journey map 1.19 here by clicking the orange download button to the right of it. It'll then take a few seconds and the download will will begin right like so. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser, but mine just downloads in the bottom left of Chrome with no issues. But again, it's 100% safe to keep or save it. Now, Forge is the mod loader that's actually going to allow us to run Journey Map in Minecraft. So without Forge, Journey Map is useless, and you can find Forge linked at the third link in the description down below. Once you're there, this is our in-depth guide for getting Forge, and if you have any questions or issues or anything like that, look here because there's most likely a solution. Nevertheless, though, once you are here, click on the green download Forge button to be taken to the official Forge download page. We then want to make sure that 1.19 is selected, but it's not by default currently, so we want to come over here to the left hand side, click on 1.19, and then click on 1.19 again. Once you do see MC 1.19 here, come under Download Latest and click on Installer. That'll take you off to Add Focus or Stop! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever! The only thing you want to do on this page is wait about 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds, in the top right of the page, you'll see this red Skip button. Click that red Skip button and in the bottom left, Google Chrome will start downloading Forge. If you're almost level Firefox, it'll download it in the center of your screen. So make sure that it is where you will have to keep it. And it's 100% safe to save or keep Forge as long as Forge is in the title, which it is, right? So you're good to go there. Now, finally, we can minimize our browser and we want to move Forge and Journey Map to our desktop just because it's easier that way, right? So to do that, click the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, probably in the bottom of your screen or the bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here. Open that up and in here, here you will find Forge and Journey Map. Drag and drop these to your desktop right like so. Now to get started, we're going to use Forge. So right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java or my icons are messed up and I don't have Java. Well, either way, you need to download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods like Journey Map. So go down to the description and get it installed if you do not already have it. It's a simple three step process and you should be good to go. But if for whatever reason you're still having issues after getting Java 17, you need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the .jar files in your computer and link them back to Java, making them work correctly. Now, finally, we can right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That'll open up the mod system installer for Forge, where all we need to do is click on Install Client and click OK. It'll then download, install, set up, and get Forge 1.19 up and running for us. As you can see, there it goes, and bada bing, bada boom, it'll come up and say successfully installed. Client Profile Forge. There it is. Successfully installed Client Profile Forge for version 1.19. Click OK to close out of the installer. We can now delete Forge from our desktop. We don't need it because it's time to install Journey Map. To do that, you want to open up Minecraft. So let's go ahead and open up Minecraft right like so. So here we are in the Minecraft launcher. Now, before you open up Minecraft, you want to make sure you're opening Minecraft with Forge. Forge is automatically selected for us here, but if it's not for you, click this little arrow and select it. As you can see, we have 1.19 Forge, and if that's the case, you have this sort of a setup. Click play and click play again. But if you don't, if you don't have Forge here or don't have 1.19 Forge in the bottom left, what we want to do is click on installations. First, make sure mod is checked. That's a simple fix, and as you can see, if it's unchecked, it won't be there. So there you go, Forge is now there, you're good to go. Click play, click play again. But if you still don't have Forge or 1.19 Forge, click on new installation. 
You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. That is our own incredible 1.19 grief protected Minecraft survival server. You should go play on it. It's pretty awesome. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on the version drop down box here and we want to click release 1.19 dash forge. And then we're going to change the resolution. You don't need to do that, but I'm doing that just so once we get in game, you can see the most important part is release 1.19 dash forge is selected. Click on create in the bottom right. And now we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile that has 1.19 forge under it. Hover over this, click play, click play again, and now Minecraft will open with Forge. You will be blown away how easy it is to install Journey Map from this point here. It's super simple, so simple in fact that once we're on the Minecraft main menu, I think it's about uh, four clicks. I think it is four clicks to get Journey Map installed. So let's go ahead and from the Minecraft main menu, click on Mods. Now from the main menu, once you click Mods, click Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Again, from the Minecraft main menu, click on Mods and Open Mods folder in the bottom left. That's gonna open your mods folder here where all you need to do is take journey map and drag and drop it from your desktop into your mods folder boom you've got journey map installed now once we're back here we need to restart minecraft because it's not going to be here until we do so how many clicks was that by the way it was one two three and four okay i give it five clicks because you technically have to like restart minecraft and stuff like that but now we can go ahead and quit out of minecraft open up the minecraft launcher again Again, make sure that we're launching Minecraft with 1.19 Forge. As you can see, there it is. So we are. Click play and click play again. And now we'll meet you in game with Journey Map. An easy way to see Journey Map is click Mods, and there it is. There is Journey Map. However, we can also go into single player, obviously, and jump into a 1.19 world to really be able to see Journey Map in game, which is, I think, where it shines. Like I said, I was going to give you a little overview of Journey Map at the end. It's going to be short, probably less than a minute, but we're going to jump on into it. So once you're in game here, as you can see, you can press J and pull up Journey Map. Now, most of you will have like a uh, pop-up at first, right? And you kind of have to click close on that pop-up. It's basically just saying, hey, welcome to Journey Map. And you'll see this and you can see all the stuff around you in journey map i've got all these different little islands and all sorts of little stuff that you can see you can also see entities right entities live moving on your map which is uh, kind of insane as well however let's say you wanted to set like a waypoint to this area you can do so by clicking b on your keyboard so click b and boom it pulls this up and we can just put uh ocean edge right like so i think this should be blue so let's make it blue and save there we go we now have a waypoint ocean edge you can manage these by clicking in and there it is you can teleport to it you can do all sorts of stuff and teleport won't work if you don't have cheats uh for example i do those so i can click teleport and i am there there is so much cool stuff that you can do you can remove it edit all of that stuff so great stuff there waypoints are just another amazing way that journey map is awesome and you can see it from uh, the global map here as well there's also all these different stuff you can see a nighttime daytime different biome right outlines what biome is it can be seen there topography and then cave layers so you can actually see underground with this as well even though i'm not doing the best showcasing it there you can see caves on or off as well as mobs on or off show animals on or off pets villagers show the grid remove the grid right like so and show the key binds and different descriptions in the bottom right which those are very helpful as well there's also waypoints can be accessed from the bottom in addition to being able to select all the different options and this is what's really cool you can change all the different stuff about the mini map here whether you show animals to enable or disable the mini map feature all that can be done here you can even have different mini map presets let's say you wanted one larger one smaller you could easily do that so overall tons and tons and tons of different stuff that you can do with journey map making it the best minecraft map mod out there my name is nick thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the next video subscribe for more and i'm out peace